Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Welcome to Brilliance Business TV, conversations with leading experts in business. I am your host, Mark Stephen Pooler. We have a wonderful guest on the show today, Lolita. I'm really looking forward to a conversation with her. We are streaming live on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. We're also on the E360 TV network. We're also on USA Global Radio and Television Network. We're also on Android Fox. Amazon, Roku, and many more. And we're also on mspnewsglobal.com. And we're also on Business Innovators Radio Network. Let's bring in our incredible guest, Lolita. Lolita Donatella Riback. Lolita, welcome to Brilliance Business TV. Thank you. Good to see you, Mark. Wonderful. It's good to have another interview with you because I know I've had you on the show before. Yes, you have. And uh, so it's wonderful being back. You always bring uh, innovation, excitement, and I'm happy to be here. I'm looking forward to a conversation with you. What is your number one inspiration behind your travels and teaching about wisdom traditions, Lolita? Oh, travels too. (laughs) Uh, Definitely spiritual growth. Uh, Definitely helping people knowing to to tap into their highest potential because we underestimate ourselves. We have a set of goals. We have a set of duties. And we wake up and we think, oh, it's just me and the world. And then what, what will I do? So we panic. And instead, we have so many resources. So definitely that inspired me to uh, know myself better and to study and to... Uh, meet with all these amazing wisdom traditions, especially the ones from India, like um, Hinduism, Buddhism, but particularly the yogic path, which means it's not a religion. And I like that appeal to me. It appealed to me because there's more freedom and the yogis are not mundane. I'm not talking about exercise. You know, it's helpful, uh, all that exercise we have put around yoga and the fitness part. Why not? It, it, it's very good for us. But what I was looking for was a way to be empowered and empower my students and my clients. So definitely it was all about that. And also I found all these ancient civilizations that just showed to me that there's an infinite world and tools that they can take you from sorrow to joy or at least from sorrow to healing. And I just love that. I love that. Healing is a very important journey that we all must go on and it can be painful at times. And I know you're very passionate about helping people, Lolita. It looks like many people now talk about manifesting a better life by using inner resources. Is there an easy way to increase intuition and use it to create the life you want? Yes, I consider intuition the highest intelligence. Not that I underestimate the intellect. In fact, I've only done that. Like I had intellectual parents. I studied to become an intellectual, a writer, etc. But I found that sometimes we get lost in convoluted thinking. And so we don't find the best path for ourselves. We don't find the tools we need. Like, you know, those moments when you wake up and you think, oh, my God, what am I going to do? And maybe you don't feel so well, you have lost your enthusiasm. But intuition will tell you, no, don't go there. This is where you need to go. And you will have an idea about the person, a place. It's not crazy. We really have those gifts. And I love a recent book I read was by an anthropologist who said that the next level of evolution for, uh, for humans is to become totally psychic. And people are doing that now. And she wrote this book in 1997. Her name is Kathy Callahan, a PhD. And she was saying that people are just waking up being psychic and they know things before they study them, they understand them. 
And, and that's what I found, that definitely meditation is a tool. And, uh, and, and once we become omniscient, because it's part of our evolution, I know it sounds far-fetched, okay? Sometimes we don't even remember what we ate for lunch yesterday. So that's what I'm saying. Sometimes there are some psychic centers and they're like here, between here and here, there are two pineal, uh, pituitary gland here and pineal gland. Together, they, they are physical tools, but they're also subtle in the subtle body. And together, these centers can take us to a place where we know things. There's also crystalline material in the pineal gland. So, you know, crystals record things. They're used for computers, um, watches, uh, all kinds of advanced technology also. And uh, we have that capacity to just tap into that uh, uh, place where everything is revealed to us. And so just by painting, uh, putting the attention throughout the day on these two centers, just being aware of them as you speak, as you um, go about your work, can definitely uh, increase your intention to listen to your intuition. And also it can increase, you know, the way you hear it. You hear your intuition, you hear these thoughts. You, and it's not sometimes about thoughts, it's about a sensation. But if you put your attention on the forehead as you trying to make a decision rather than using only the rational mind, all of a sudden you'll know, you'll know what to do, what's better for you and also what will work better. That's what I find. I like that. And meditation is very powerful as well. Oh, and you mentioned yes. that as well. What are, what are your current projects, Lalita, and what's coming up for you that will bring more transformation to your clients? Well, I love this question. Thank you for asking because there's so much going on, wonderful things. I have a new book and it's the fourth book. Um, and I put my heart and soul in this book. Why? Because in my very first book, which was the book, it took me four years. And I talked a lot about the meditations, the, the tools, the, uh, the, the path, uh, different paths for different people, etc. And Vedic astrology, which is a super tool, is a super science, I find. And also in India, there is evidence. Even the government says it's a super science. But anyway, what I found now that people are waking up and they want to know about who they are. And we don't have the cosmology to, you know, sometimes that our cosmology is not like the yogi's cosmology. And I like the yogi's cosmology better because it explains that uh, we have cycles on earth and we have uh, a lot of potential and we have all these beings, these light beings. And, and maybe you can still create, you know, and I still believe in one supreme God or call him the divine. I like to call him source. And when you you feel there is a source, but there are all these light beings who can help you. And they are very benevolent. And in the yogi path, they call them devas. So this book is all about uh, how to connect with a part of yourself, which is cosmic. It's connected to everything. So I love that I, I talked about experiences I had with light beings when I was a child and also people in my life. So the, those are the things you put in a book because otherwise maybe it can clear a room in a, at a dinner party. I don't want to do that. So in a book, though, I think they're very um, exciting stories that we're re really never alone and we're, we have so much help and we're guided every second. And to me, that was very important. Also, I found a lot of information about ancient civilizations. I know that it's not official. We have our own history, you know, 6,000 years old history, but I believe there have been other civilizations, like in India, the yogis talk about it, etc. So there is a lot of all the exciting things I am very passionate about. And also there is a movie that's the most exciting thing, actually. Uh, I'm featured in a movie with Dr. Joe Vitale and other amazing teachers like uh, Jonas Saraf and um, also Katie Carey, who's my publisher, I love her. She's awesome. And other people are very, it, it's, a pre I think it will premiere in November, December this year. 
So that's scheduled to um, premiere then. So I'm excited because all these coaches are coming together and say, hey, you don't need to be stuck. You don't need to feel small. You're amazing. You're a god. You're full of light. And also we need to forgive because this movie is called Zero Limits. And uh, it's a book written by Dr. Joe Vitale quite a while ago. But it's about Ho'oponopono, which is a very ancient I love that. Right, right? Hawaiian teaching. And we need that desperately because we have wars. We fight with each other. Where there are misunderstandings. And instead, we need to be in a spirit of collaboration, love, uh, understanding, not only tolerance, but literally embracing each other's cultures and uh, even religions. Why not? Either all religions or no religions to me. <laughs> That's my philosophy. So, Ho'oponopono, you know, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I think. Thank you. Well, I love that, better, yes. Right? I think forgiveness is so, so important, Lolita. It is very important and very difficult sometimes. So I love it that, you know, we've had these masters talking about unconditional love, forgiveness, being, you become a human angel, if you like the word. So I like that, yes. We are supposed to, we are supposed to become very, you know, we are already light beings. I, even science admits to that. We are photon light. This is a simulation. <laughs> Scientists. Well, yeah, everything is a simulation. And I like what you said about everything being one. I believe in one God consciousness as well. And whether you call that divine source, God, I, prefer, I call it God. But um, I also use the word source, universe. But I believe everything's connected and we are all one. I agree with you. Definitely we're all one. So we need to get along with each other. I've had Definitely. a lot of uh, experience with family issues. You know, when people misunderstand each other, then they do hurtful things. I have done my share, you know, also. It can happen in any environment. It can be at work for many people. They have the problem at work. So forgiving and freeing yourself from this energy, taking responsibility for what you put out in the world, what you put in your mind. I mean... You have to live with yourself, right? Don't you want to make that a, a, a very positive relationship? I so agree. you want to have beautiful thoughts, yeah. Okay, so that's the two primary things. I love it. I love it. What is the greatest blessing you have experienced in your work? Definitely my pain was not seemed to be a curse, but it turned out to be a blessing. Because when I was working, I was an executive, you know, working in, in PR, actually. In PR, also, I was volunteering for so many organizations, particularly a, a contemporary a Museum of Contemporary Art and a, a International Women Associate for, with the International Visitor Center, all in Chicago. And I loved what I did, okay? I met amazing people. And I felt it was very rewarding, but I was also very depressed. And I thought, where am I going with this? How much more? You know, I was a, it was rewarding. I was like a co-chair of these com cultural committees. And then I was in the women's board of the museum. It was very rewarding, but I felt if this is all there is, it's not worth it. I was really upset. I thought I wanted more. And we all come to the point when we mature. I was in my early 30s. And I thought, oh, this is not working. I need something more. So that pain took me to exploring a better path, a um, like I, to know myself better. And I knew what gave me joy. I noticed when I was calm and peaceful, I was very intuitive. I was doing everything, uh, things that worked. And when I was upset, it took me a long time to recover, you know, from these upsets and even forgiveness part. And so I realized that the spiritual path was for me, but I didn't want to be in an ashram or, you know, like I really wanted to help people, wanted to be more out there. So I thought that there's got to be a way to do uh, what I did before PR, <laughs> you know, helping people, you know, getting the, the things they wanted in life, uh, but do it in a spiritual way with all these tools that I learned 30 years almost, uh, let's say 25 <laughs> been helping people with that. I started actually in 2004. 
So maybe that's 20 years. <laughs> okay, but the studies took much longer, yeah, since I was a child, actually, because I always I was attracted to the paranormal. Also, I talked to angels. For me, that was normal when I was a little kid. When I was five, it was normal for me. I love that, Lolita. And I like how you mentioned sometimes pain helps you to get to other places. I totally, totally agree with that. I think sometimes something bad can happen or pain, but it can really push you in a positive direction. Yeah. So, Lolita, where do you uh, think... I want to add just one quick thing. And then I was also blessed because I found the right mentors. So what, what the reason I'm a life coach and not doing just you know writing etc is that we all need guidance don't we have five, uh, fortune 500 uh, ceos looking for coaches all the time because when you reach some people have made like 300 million dollars <laughs> if they want 3 billion you know i'm talking about that kind of ceos not me they cannot get from here to there without help so that's elementary but other people who are not used to being guided, they don't even know how to ask for help. So all this life coaching that's happening now is very helpful because we need guidance. So I found my mentors. I found one particular mentor who really changed my life, showed, no, you don't need to wait. You, don't, uh, you have to be very positive, which is utter positivity is faith. That's all it is. Faith means utter positivity. So, yeah, that changed my life a lot. I love it. I love it. Where do you think the world of online business and coaching is going? And what are the benefits for all, Alita? I believe we've just started. As I just said, you know, we all need guidance. So we, we, we shouldn't just wait, hoping. Hope is important. It sustains life. But at the same time, we need to do something, right? So waiting is never a good option, not for me. <laughs> Maybe that's for other people, but I, that usually uh, waiting brings a lot of suffering. And I believe that we all need the guidance of a coach. Sportsmen need a, a sports coach, a sport, right? They're in the, the, the right coach. So I believe that if you look, there are so many coaches now, we need even more. We need healers, guidance, because the world has changed a lot. And we really are all in this together. And uh, we need to help each other. That's what, where I think it's going. I hope it's not too grandiose, but that's how I see it. I agree. And I think the world of online business is just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Now, Lolita, I know people can connect with you at shreemlab.com. That's shreemlab.com. Who should connect with you? Who should? Who? Yeah. Who would you like to connect with you? Oh, definitely women who are struggling because we everybody knows you know women have been suppressed for hundreds of years so they're all coming out and making the world a better place because we need both the masculine and the feminine but i believe that also the femininity which is called shakti in the yogic path is also in man man so i'm helping a lot of men and also finding that compassion men can protect right life they can protect their families they can protect their communities that's very beautiful. And also compassion in men and women. So that kind of person who wants a little bit of help in um, spiritual growth, but also in uh, practical aspects of life. Like, how do you start a business online? That's what I can help with. How do you write a, a copy that people understand what, you, what you're what you selling or what do you want to do in your life? People need to... Um, find these tools and they are online and they're easy to find just hire a coach so i agree i would say if you would like to get in touch with lolita go to shreemlab.com that's shreemlab.com instagram. <laughs> yep T tell us all your instagram handle yes so my instagram and uh, see if i can just share it with you So I, I like to answer questions also on Instagram. It's so easy. Can people find you on Instagram at, at your website as well, Lilita? 
Um, no, but that's a good idea, and we need to add a button there. Yeah, I think add a button there, that's a great idea. I will read this out for you because I've got it here. Bear with me one second. Thank you so much. Okay. It's Donatella Reback. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, just your name, isn't it? So it's yes. at Donatella Reback. At yes. Donatella Reback. Nice. And I'll pop your name there so people can see it on the screen. That's yeah. at Donatella Reback on Instagram and connect with. Lalita there. She will be happy to have a conversation with you. Lalita, thank you so much for being my guest today. I've really enjoyed having a conversation with you. Same here. Thank you, Mark. Always nice seeing you. The pleasure's been all mine. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for Brilliance. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.